checking out this video, don't forget, like and subscribe. Let's talk about Phoenix. Let's, uh... Is it a fun Friday for Phoenix? If Ray Phoenix's intentions are to go to WWE, it will be a while before that can happen. This from the front page of WrestlingObserver.com. $35 million. In this week's Observer, Dave Meltzer reported, AW is adding on injury time to Phoenix's current contract, quote, which is nearly but not quite one year. Recent online rumors had both he and brother Penta already signing with WWE, but both men are currently under AW contract, which made that impossible. AW head Tony Khan made, quote, significant offers for the brothers to stay, but they declined. Meltzer reiterated Penta will be going to WWE after his deal is up in the next two months. And that word is WWE made him a competitive offer. So that solidified his decision to leave. Penta hasn't wrestled for AEW since July. Has worked in Mexico seven times since. Phoenix's last AEW match was also in July. But he also hasn't wrestled since a CMLL trios match that same month. How, how and if they plan to use Phoenix going forward remains to be seen. So... Uh, the tribalism is in full swing today from people that don't know what's going on. I, for one, am shocked. Okay. Yes, he was injured, and so Tony added time to his contract. He is not the only person this has happened to. It didn't happen to him because he wants to leave. There are people working on AEW television now that are working on contract extensions because they were injured. And in WWE, this happens all the time. It's one of the reasons Brian Danielson was with WWE for so long. He was injured, and so they extended his contract. They do this in WWE. They do this in AEW. They do this... I don't know if they do this in, in Impact. But in AEW and WWE... If you are mad at Tony Khan for doing this, then you must also be mad at... It was actually mostly Vince McMahon. We really don't know now since TKO took over, but Drew McIntyre did have his contract extended due to injury this year. So it appears that everywhere, this happens everywhere, everybody does this. Now, it is wrestling. It is wrestling. And so it doesn't always happen. <laughs> if you If you are somebody... Depends on the asset. And it's like, eh, who cares? Like, they're not going to add time to your contract. If you are someone important... Sup, Miro? They will add time to your contract. You know I'm right. So it's just the way things go. <laughs> Man, I'd, I'd let Miro go. Yes. I'd let if him go. If you're that disgruntled or there's that much of an issue when it comes to creative and all that sort of stuff, and the person is going to be a headache or it's going to be a, head a headache of an issue that is not going to change... Then yes, I think there are ways where look, I don't know if you buy some out or something. Whatever happens there, I think that should be part of the deal. But yes, you don't want to hand over an asset that easily. For what purpose other than your fandom? From what business point of view does that make sense? Taking your fandom out of it. If somebody can answer how that makes sense, again, because, again, if the two sides are fine with working with each other or somebody is fine with sitting home and isn't going to raise a stink, what's the big deal? I mean, this has been standard practice for a long time. It's nothing new. And it's not only in pro wrestling either. Now, there is a question I have based on reading this story here. WWE made Penta a competitive offer. Well, how did they do that? He's under contract. Oh, well, there you go. Huh. Hmm. That's kind of weird. Well... That's another thing that happens on both sides, even though Tony Khan has talked a lot about WWE tampering and there was Swerve and there were all these people that once Vince lost power, you know, supposedly somebody from Triple H's side called and tried to offer deals and probably did that. Remember at the time, everybody was all stirred up with Buddy Matthews and we had this whole weird thing with, uh, what's his name, House of Black, Alistair, you know, constantly cutting promos and this was all at a time when tony khan was saying they are tampering we're not hearing that with this case and one of the reasons why i think is even though that happens and that's an issue 
The reality is there are liaisons. There are people that talk between sides and people can express things, performers that is, to their current bosses that say, I want to get out of here. I do want to go over and do that. And so these things are going to happen, you know? And well, it's also why... possible. I have a theory. I'm not saying this happened, okay? But and these guys also have the same agents. Let me well, throw that in hold there, on. too. It's not it's, like, again... It's possible that he thought his contract had expired, and he spoke to WWE, and then he was told, actually, we're extending it for your injury time. You're not expired yet. So it is possible that in his mind... He thought he was free to talk and was later told, you actually are not. And there could also, again, depending on who negotiates these contracts, and I wouldn't think this would be in Phoenix's, but I could see it being in other people who are represented at a higher level or by different people, that there is a window that will come in before my 90 days or whatever it would be with the end of my contract where there is a soft period where my agent or representation can reach out. They, there's no official offer that can be made, but I am allowed to test the waters in that time. You don't know if that's in there or not. SummerSlam is going to New York, New Jersey, East Rutherford at the MetLife Stadium, Saturday, August 2nd, Sunday, August 3rd. I won't be there. I was going to say Sorry. your spot. I, I did that once. I will never do it again. That's <laughs> you just, don't want to do it with the humidity. I will too. never do it again. No, I will not be there. Have fun. <laughs> Extra ticket for somebody out there. Thank me Never later. go to Jersey again. There will be some changes, it says here. WrestlingObserver.com. To WWE NXT's presentation on the CW Network. NXT makes its move to the CW starting with next Tuesday's premiere. Shawn Michaels confirmed, from a look and physical standpoint, WWE has some changes in store for NXT. Hmm, maybe some graphics? Certainly, we want to make a big splash on this CW. We'll have some big changes. I think more of that will be from a look and physical standpoint. We will still be what NXT is, which bring in some of the most talented, young, diverse athletes in all the nation, developing them into the WWE superstars of tomorrow. The hunger, the passion, it's always been the core value of NXT, is always going to be there. You know, I don't know what it is. There's a mystery here, okay? Oh, yeah. There's a mystery. I have been told that there is a reason that they refuse to identify the wrestlers on screen. But they won't tell me what it is. And I don't think it's just to irritate me. There's like some, they got some cockamamie idea about why they can't do it. But let me tell you something. You need to do it. You identify everybody on the CW, put a graphic up for everybody backstage, and I will say it again, like I said it the other day, if you work for NXT, if you are a wrestler in NXT, if you haven't made NXT TV yet, say your own name. It is your responsibility. They are not going to do it for you. If you don't say your name, it could be weeks before your name is said on the program. So whoever you're talking to, get your name out there. Or you say, hey, Mike, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about this next story here. And when you respond, I want you to say, Brian, and then continue on. Got it. I'll say your name, Mike. All right, Brian. So, so this is the responsibility now of the wrestlers, okay? Yes. It's, it's like... It's like you might you, okay, you the wrestler. You. You are responsible for finding the hard cam, okay? We're not going to film like our job is to film you, but we're not going to do it. Like you got to find the hard cam, brother. Red light. Yes. Even though we we hire like, you know, we got producers and directors and camera people. No, you must wrestle your match. But also, you must be your own director. Find that hard cam. This is stupid. Do you understand me? Flat out stupid. But Here's the that's the way they operate. So it is your responsibility to identify yourself. Whether yeah. you say it or whether you get your buddy to say it as you guys go back and forth. Thank you. You're welcome, I mean.
If you're one of those wrestlers out there, what you throw back in Brian's faces, man, you sound a lot like Dave telling you how to program your DVR I will. and being responsible That's for the different. overrun. That's different. Here's the thing. If if somebody is not going to have a graphic on NXT, you're starting fresh with the CW in a lot of ways. Don't have them on. Don't have them on. Have them in the background in a locker room scene where you don't have to do something like that. If they're going to be a part of the show, then yes, go ahead and do that. But guess what? Only your best should be on NXT and at least on NXT TV. And the first two weeks are going to set the tone for that show. So we'll see what they do. We'll see what the new graphics look like, all that sort of stuff. And we'll see if we find out a reason that they're messing with you. Because whatever this reason is, I have a feeling it will make you blow up, even if it's not directly to piss you off. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button, and you'll never miss a video again.